Demo time. And then we're good to go. So first up, Shrika. Big, big warm welcome. Thank you. Hey guys, good evening. I'm Nivo. I'm the CEO of Strigo. Very happy to be here. And I'll start with a question. So I'm interested to know how many of you or who um, was involved in uh, being trained by one of your software vendors, someone who sold software to your company. So just raise your hands. Anyone wants to share how the experience was? Not really. <laughs> sure. So, uh, Strigo. Um, so, to those of you who don't know the experience of customer training, customer training is a process, and we're here in the context of enterprise software, um, is a process that enterprise software companies do um, basically to train their customer on the software for different, you know, for onboarding, for different reasons, so they can get the value out of the software that we sold to them. And customer training is the key driver for customer success. So statistics um, uh, and researchers show that around uh, the trained customers actually uh, renew at a more than 50% higher rate than untrained customer. And their adoption rates are around 70% higher of your software which, of course, in our world of software as a service, retention, adoption, are key KPIs that companies live and die, with, live and die by. So, uh, really, really important, but companies are still struggling with customer training. And why are they struggling? They're struggling because customer training has become this really complex process which is both multi-channel and multi-stage. So, if you look back 10 years ago, um, when we sold on-premises software, uh, basically the process was, you know, we sold you licenses of our software, we sent trainers on site, we trained you, we got the money, goodbye, we'll see you maybe three years later when we sell you an upgrade. And nowadays we're in the world of SaaS, software as a service. We're constantly engaging our customers and training is also a way for us to engage our customers in many different uh, stages of the customer life cycle. Mm -hmm. So what we see nowadays, we see um, software vendors training their customers, even before their customers, when they're prospects, to show them the sort of try before you buy uh, sort of thing, so, we, so prospects can, get, can really you know, try for themselves and experience the value of what you're selling. We're seeing uh, software vendors training for onboarding and adoption, of course, uh, training for expansion. When you train your customers and let them experience new features, new capabilities, new products that you have or additional products that you have, you increase the potential for them buying it. Uh, training is really also important for retention as we saw in the statistics because when you keep your customers in a high skill level and you constantly train them on the products and all the updates that you have in your product, they retain, uh, you, get, you retain them at a higher rate. And the last thing is advocacy. Um, trained customers become expert with your product. They tell their friends about the, your product. When you provide training as, as part of your customer events, they have more justification to come to this event. Um, basically, it increases your NPS and, uh, and the chances for them to promote you. So training is really important in that way throughout the customer journey. And nowadays, we have also many, many channels to, tra uh, to train customers with. So the traditional way of you know, on-site customer, we send someone or we rent a classroom and train everyone, this is the traditional way. But now companies also do it, uh, they want to provide self-service training, sort of e-learning, where they prepare the material so people can train on themselves. Uh, they want to do virtual instructor-led training. So uh, the same experience of classroom, uh, but virtually when the trainer is remote and the, um, and the customer that you train Every one of them is, is in their own office or home or whatever. And the last thing that uh, most comp a lot of companies do is partner training. So a lot of the big companies do that. So for example, if your company bought something from Microsoft, let's say, I don't know, SQL Server or something like that, they'll probably send you to a training company in your area to train there. And what happens in this process is that basically they outsource 
uh, a key part of their uh, of the customer journey into uh, a black box where they don't know what's happen what's happening with their customer and how good they know they know the product and basically if it's not good enough they lose a chance or or they hurt their chances for retention and adoption. Um, so the problem right now is that this complex process, which is both multi-stage and multi-channel, um, is not supported by uh, tools that are designed for this process. Because what companies are doing are they're patching together different tools not designed for customer training to support this process. And, and what we should remember about customer training is that in our environment, in our context of enterprise software, customer training is basically product training. You train them on the product, and product is best learned by doing, learning by doing. You can't like, teach someone about your product theoretically. So what you have to do in terms of the training and support all these processes, you have to patch together these different capabilities of um, you know, creating the product environment, communication, collaboration, um, you know, being able to assess what your customers are doing, um, certify them, and many, many different capabilities to support this process, which are, you know, until Strigo, weren't in one place. Uh, and, you know, having this siloed product to support this process also means your data is siloed. So you can't really understand what's happening with your customer training and are you doing the right thing to drive adoption, to drive retention? Because the data is siloed, you can't see the big, the big picture, you're not data driven. Um, so this is what Strigo came to solve. And what we provide is the, world, the world's first uh, customer training cloud. Um, and it has three key values. The first value is to streamline all your customer training um, operation, meaning you have a one-stop shop solution um, to do all the customer training activities, to manage the different kinds of, of training you need to do for the different stages of your customer's life cycle, uh, to, um, for the different modalities that you use for training all in one solution. So it becomes much more manageable uh, and, 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 um, and provides a much better experience for your customers compared to this you know, Frankenstein-like experience that you gave them patching together different tools. Um, it's also integrated into the entire customer success ecosystem. So we can really understand um, the impact that you're making with training about the key KPIs that we were talking about, adoption, retention, churn, and so on. Uh, and it's also intelligent, or soon to be intelligent, meaning that we'll be able to recommend you what kind of training to give each customer to improve the ROI of training. Um, we're, we're also we're already already in business. We have some like very le leading uh, software vendors that are using Strigo to power their customer training operation. Companies like Elastic, VMware, Docker. I think the others are less known, um, and we're constantly onboarding new customers by the month. And and I'd love to show you a demo and answer any questions afterward. So what I'm going to show you right now uh, is a demo of how a BI company can use Strigo um, to power their customer training. And in this demo, we'll see a, a BI company that does uh, e-learning, does instructor-led training, and uses partners to train the customer. So what you see in the beginning is the management application of Strigo where you create the courses that you uh, deliver to your customers. So with Trigger, you're able to create all the, I'll, try, uh, I'll do it slower, um, you're able to create all the content in slides, exercises, videos, whatever content that you want your uh, uh, customers to learn from. And with that content, you remember we said that training product, the best way is learning by doing. So we enable our customers to put their product at the center uh, and we're agnostic to the kind of product that exists in enterprise software. So in addition to the uh, content that they add, we also allow them to create the product environment they want their student to have. Uh, so uh, we use the public cloud for that. We allow them to, um, depending on the type of product, whether uploaded and then we provision it in the cloud for each student, or just you know, stream it through Strigo. Um, again, depending on speci specific technology, technology of that product. Um, 
and, and then after you created this basis, this course, you're able, or the way we treat it, as a one template that you can then deliver in many different ways, either like in an instructor-led training, in on-demand, e-learning kind of way, or through your partners, all with the same template. And so after you do it, it kind of looks like uh, we're gonna see in a second, it looks like that. This is how e-learning looks through Strigo. What you see here is the student just clicked on a link and it got a web application with a product at the center. This is the BI application. And on the side, they have instructions, like interactive instructions with videos, with exercises on how to use the product. So they can train by themselves. And the company, of course, get full visibility into how this training is going. The other, uh, another uh, delivery method that we uh, power is instructor-led training. A lot of, you know, people learn in many different ways. You know, some people want to train by themselves. They want to sit in their own time when they're comfortable, learn by themselves, not having anyone interfere with it. A lot of people like when someone explains things to them and guides them through the, um, what they should do and what they should learn. So. Uh, for that kind of training, we provide our virtual classroom. And again, you know, you see here the instructor in the video, um, you know, explaining all the theoretical material in a different way, so whether it's slides or, you know, sketches or whatever uh, form that they need. And after they explain the theoretical material, it's time for the, you know, uh, exercise time, uh, the actual hands-on exercise. And what we see here is the student using the application through Strigo, working on it. And let's say um, they're having an issue. They can actually ping the instructor and tell them they have an issue. And the instructor can enter the same work environment and co-work with them on the application because everything is in the cloud. So they both connect to the same environment, working together with full collaboration, actually duplicating that experience you usually have in classroom when, you know, it, when it's time to exercise or do the, tra the, the hands-on training and the trainer walks you know, behind the line and sees what everyone's doing and helps anyone that needs help. So now it's happening virtually through Strigo. And I have one more minute, so I'll jump to what happened. And the same thing, so what we saw is you know, how one template is used to two different ways of training, whether it's e-learning or instructor-led training, the same template can be used for you to share with your training partner, with the company uh, that you are so outsource training to. And you, as the company outsourcing the training, get, a full, get full visibility into what they did through different uh, um, dashboard, dashboards that we provide, so you can see exactly how engaged were your customers, um, what did they do? What content uh, was delivered to them? Who were they? Who was the most interested? Feed that information maybe to your business systems, to the customer success or sales system so you can pursue additional business opportunities and so on. Um, and I think uh, with that, I can finish and say that uh, I really appreciate you um, hearing uh, what we do and the uh, workbench giving me the opportunity to present Strigo to you, so thank you. I'll just add one more thing that uh, if anyone knows a company that does customer training and is interested in doing it in a much better way than exists today, uh, please uh, stick to me afterwards. Thank you. So if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer. Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you for your presentation. I'm just curious. You say that you are the first one in your space in the cloud, right? So how would you, how do you believe that you will still uh, remain the same when three people from Google put together a team and not the same product within a week? Okay. That's a VC question. Are you a VC? Sorry. <laughs> um, the question was um, how, you know, we're kind of first to market right now and the question was how are we prepared to having three people come out of Google and develop the same application within a week? And my answer was, are you a VC? So, <laughs> um, but the real answer is that um, 
it's not as simple as it looks, okay? There is a lot of technology behind what we do. Um, uh, being able to support many different kinds of products and providing this, um, it's quite complex technology, thinking all this, uh, you know, capabilities to together, collaboration, uh, uh, communication, um, analytics, and, and many, many other different things that we do. So I doubt any three people from Google can duplicate this in a week. Um, and it also requires quite a bit of uh, industry expertise in terms of training. So um, just a bit about our history as a company. Um, two of my co-founders actually had a consulting company around software and DevOps and helping companies build their products and infrastructure. And basically what, what they found themselves doing after they helped them you know, build the infrastructure and implement different tools is they found themselves traveling around the world training this uh, customers how to use what they built for them. And this is how they realize the need for that and how, you know, training is also about pedagogy and different ways that people learn. So it's not just the technology, it's also the industry expertise and it's not so simple in my opinion. So I, I'm curious, so you actually host the software on your cloud, so like if I'm learning Tableau, I actually access the, the product in real time through your application? So the question was, where do we host the product? Is it in our cloud? So we actually host the product on public clouds. We're working with uh, AWS, now with Azure as well. How is that cost reflected back to the customer? Because I, I imagine that gets expensive. Um, it's actually, for them, it's, we save money for our customers. Um, because basically what they do if they don't have us is they put manpower on that, like uh, installing stuff on you know, laptops, uh, and sending people over, uh, or doing the stuff with AWS themselves with a lot of manual work. And I think that the, you know, AWS, I hope they don't hear me, but it doesn't cost a lot. It costs, but, uh, uh, manpower costs much more, and, uh, and and we actually save money for them, money and time, and make the experience for their customers better, which is worth. They basically are paying us for better experience for their customers. Um, so cost was never an issue. Time for one more. Um, you save people just mostly on the software companies and framing software. Now, So the question was, um, uh, indeed we're focused mainly on customer training and, uh, and are we planning to move to an adja adjacent market like internal training or just, you know, technology training in general? And the, ans the short answer is yes. Um, the more elaborate answer is no. We chose, we, we, we basically provide a, a platform which is agnostic to different kinds of training. Um, but we had to start somewhere, and in the world of the world of enterprise software, you know, is a world where margin is mostly on the product. Like you make 80% margin on your product, and all other activities support product sales. So companies are willing to invest a lot to enable this product margin. So they're not looking to make money out of training, and they're willing to invest a lot of money in training, and they're interested in quality where if you look at like uh, boot camps or uh, internal training, this is not the case. They they're much more cost effective. Um, they're a bit less focused on quality of training. So it was a good market to start with and we feel we're just as in the beginning of that market. So a lot of work to be done there, but um, in the end we do see it as a platform that can support adjacent markets as well. Thank you.